Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to set up the CloudShare project on our local computer. In the previous video, we have created the file sharing application project using React and Spring Boot, which is basically the clone of the Google Drive. In case if you missed that video, the link will be given in the description section of this video. If you have downloaded the source code of that project, in this video, we are going to set up the project on our local computer. Before we start setting up on our computer, first of all, I would like to congrats, congratulate our newest community members, Walter, Yasin, Ajit, Surprise Revealers, Virat, Mark, Raviraj and Engineering. I welcome you all to our member community. In case if you want to join our member community, you can click on this join button and you can join the premium members uh, plan where you will enjoy the exclusive videos for the member community. I have recently published a new course, basically the music streaming application similar to Spotify using React and Spring Boot. If you join our member community, you can watch these exclusive videos. I hope our new members enjoying these videos. All right, now we can start set up our cloud share project on our local computer. First of all, when you download the source code, you will get the CloudShare web application and the CloudShare API. Also, you will get the Postman collection. So first of all, let's import this Postman collection in our uh, Postman. I will open the Postman and I'm going to click on this import and select the file. I'm going to select this CloudShare master and I'm going to click on this open. So this will open the collection inside the postman. So we have these API endpoints. So we can test the backend API using these uh, API endpoints. This is the very first step. Next, we have the web application and the CloudShare API. So first let's import the backend project in our IntelliJ. Of course you can use Eclipse or STS, but I highly recommend you to uh, download and install the uh, IntelliJ Community Edition, which is completely free. I will just open the IntelliJ and I'm going to import the project. Click on this open and select the project, which is CloudShare API and click open. And now we have imported this project in our IntelliJ. If you are importing it for the very first time, then this will take few seconds to set it up. It will start downloading the dependencies. You can see that downloading dependencies in the bottom right hand corner. Once you once it downloaded all the dependencies, now you can start um, looking at the source code. And now the very first thing what we need to do is open this application or properties file before that you can see this uploads folder, right? Make sure that this uh, uploads folder should be empty just to start from the scratch, okay? All right, next what we need to do is we need to add all these informations, okay? So first of all, I'm going to remove all these informations like the values because I was previously used this. Now I have changed all of these values. So I'm gonna remove everything, perfect. Now, first of all, we need to add the MongoDB URL because for this project, we have used the MongoDB database. We need to add the MongoDB URI. Let's, first of all, you need to be installed MongoDB database on your computer. Once you install the MongoDB database, we need to connect to that database server. So for that, you can use the MongoDB compass. I have already opened the MongoDB compass and inside this, we have to create the new database. I'm going to click on this plus and I will create the database name, which is cloud share app. Okay. So I'm going to add the collection name for now. We cannot create the database without the collection name. Just add the collection name test and click on this create database. Okay. Now we have created this database cloud share app. Next, we need to add the uh, host URI. So for that, what I will do is let's go to the, okay, let's add the HTTP colon, sorry, not the HTTP. We need to add MongoDB colon double slash localhost colon 
27016 slash the database name which is cloud share app next first of all what i will do is i'm going to verify whether this uri is correct or not to do that this is going to be localhost okay let's go to our browser and search for spring boot mongodb uri okay just click on this and i'm going to select the first link or even i can okay i'm going to just copy this uri okay this is what we want i'm going to paste it here perfect this is going to be cloud share app make sure the database name should be correct and this is the local host since we are running it in our local i have added it as local host this is the default port 207017 and this is the driver uri next we need to add the clerk configuration for the authentication system we have used the clerk so let's add the clerk clerk configuration for that first let's log into our clerk account i have already logged into the clerk account let's create the new application in case if you don't have an account in clerk go ahead and clear create an account click on this create application i'm going to provide the application name cloud share and i'm going to provide uh, select the sign in options as email and uh, google and click on this create application this will create the application just wait for a few seconds okay it created the application we need to select the uh, 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 technology that we are using i'm going to select the react and if you scroll down we need to add the publishable key okay so just grab this publishable key copy this and go to the intellij and inside this clerk issuer not here uh, we we need to add it in our front end application so we'll add that in our front end application later but for now let's go to the configure and scroll down go to the api keys we need this front end api url just copy this and add it in our clerk issuer next go to the back end we don't need this back end uri but you, we want this uh, json web key set url just copy this and add it in the clerk jwks url next we need the webhook secret key so we need to create the webhook as well scroll down and you will see this webhooks click on this and we need to we need to create the webhook click on this add endpoint we need to provide the endpoint http s colon double slash my web app dot com slash api okay uh, we need to add the proper uh, url of course the host name as of now we are adding it as dummy later once we deployed our application we will get the host name then we are going to replace it here but for now we need to add the uri path so for that go to the backend application and go to this clerk webhook controller we need to add this slash webhooks before that let's go to our application or properties file we need to add this context path after this we need to add the webhook slash scroll down we need to add this clerk so let's add this entire uri path perfect this is the endpoint url of course later we need to replace this with the actual host name now we are going to select for the events which is user events which is user created deleted and updated right perfect with this click on this create this will create the webhook and we will get this sign in secret key click on this and copy this entire sign in secret and paste it here perfect next we need to add the razor pay configuration we have used the razor pay payment gateway let's go to the browser and log into your razor pay account if you don't have an account create one account in razor pay and go to your profile account click on this make sure that you should be in the test mode and click on this api keys 
you will get the API key ID and the uh, secret ID. So you can just click on this generate the test key. It is going to ask you for an OTP, provide the OTP, then it is going to uh, ask us to download the CSV file. Once you download the CSV file, you will get the uh, key ID and the secret key. Make sure to add that inside our application.properties file. I'm going to copy this key ID and paste it here. All right. We need to also add the secret key, but I'm going to add it later. And next, close all of these files because we have done with the application.properties file. With all of this, now we are good to start the backend application. I'm going to open the main application, which is CloudShare application. And I'm going to click on this run. Okay. And make sure to enable the annotation processing. And you can see the Tomcat is started on the port 8080. Now we can set up the front end application. Let's go to our downloads and we have this cloud share web app make sure to open this inside your IDE. i will be using webstorm you can also use visual studio code or any of the ides which supports the front end let's open the webstorm okay our application is opened and first of all, what I would like to do is I will open the .env file. Okay. We need to add this clerk publishable key. So let's go to our clerk. I will open the browser, go to the clerk and go to the API keys and make sure to select the react. And here we will have this publishable key. I'm going to copy this publishable key. You can also copy from here. I'm going to copy this here and paste it. Okay. Now we have this publishable key added. We need to also add the razor pay key. I'll go to the razor pay. I'll just add this key. Paste it. Perfect. Do not use my razor pay key because you will not have the secret key. And also after I upload this video on to the YouTube, I'm going to regenerate the API keys. So make sure to use your key and close this. That's it. We have set up the uh, cloud share web app also, but make sure that you should be also installed the node modules. So for that, you can just go to the uh, console and just do NPM install. This is going to install all the dependencies for us. Perfect. Next, now let's start the front end application. I'm going to just open the terminal npm run dev. This will start the development server on the port localhost 5173. Let's open the browser. Navigate to localhost 5173. Boom. You can see now our application is running on localhost 5173. We can start testing this application. I'm going to click on this get started. It will open up this dialog box. I'm going to uh, continue with the Google account. Click on continue. I'm going to select my Google account. Click continue. Perfect. Now the account has been created. We get this five credits and we can verify it in the MongoDB as well. Let's go to our MongoDB. I'm going to just press control R and refresh. You can see a profiles collection has been created. We get this new user. Perfect. But we also need to do one more thing, which is we need to add inside our clerk. For now we have added the, if I go to the webhooks, we haven't added the proper host name, but we are not deployed. Uh, we are not going to deploy the application into the production server in this video. I'm going to move it into the next video, but we need to replace this with our local host. But if I add the local host uh, 8080 here, it will not work. It will not consider that as a host name. So in order to pro provide the temporary host name, what we can do is we can use the ngrock. I'm going to just log into my ngrock account. I logged into my ngrock account. If you scroll down, 
you can see now we have this uh, first we need to add this uh, command i'm going to just copy this open the terminal i'm going to select a new window or a new tab and i'm going to execute that command okay it is uh, saved in our configuration i'm going to now copy this ngrock http localhost 8080 in case if you are running on your different port make sure to change the port number just copy it and paste it and hit enter this will provide the uh, forwarding url the temporary host name we can copy this and we can use it make sure that once you run the ngrock command you should not be closing this because this should be running in order to application should work okay make sure that you should not close this it should be in a watch mode now let's go to our clerk and here i'm going to click on this and i'm going to edit this we need to replace this uh, whatever the dummy host name that we have added we need to replace this make sure that you should be keep this api slash version 1.0 webhooks clerk as it is only thing you need to change is the local host part and click save perfect now let's go to our uh, front end application okay right now you can see the first name is bushan and last name is sc if i go to the front end application and i'm going to just update the uh, name uh, the last name click on this manage account and when i go to the update profile i will just uh, let me not here I think we can okay here i think uh, we don't have the option to update it so what i will do is just close this and go to our clerk there should be an option where you can okay here i think uh, verify sign in email verification verification add email account email verification code phone number username passwords user module allow users to delete their account okay first name and last name okay and uh, click save and make sure to add click on this require first name and last name and click on this save now let's go back to our front end application and just reload the application and now update profile you can see now we have this first name and last name i'm going to change this to uh, sirgur and click save now we should be uh, the updated profile should also be updated in our mongodb collection let's go back to our mongodb and right now it is last name is sc i'm going to reload this boom you can see it is changed to sirgur right perfect basically our uh, webhooks it is also working as expected we can verify it also let's go to our clerk and if you go to the webhooks you can see the events uh, click on this and scroll down you can see it is succeeded updated it has been succeeded all right perfect so now we have set up everything and our application is working let's test it one more time let's try to upload some files i'm going to click on this i'm going to just upload this image and click on this upload one file and the file is uploaded and you can see it is in the recent files you can go to the uploads and here also you can upload you can see four credits after we uploaded we have this four credits go to the my files you can see we can make this public and uh, you can see now we can share this link copy this and i'm going to share it with my friends i'm going to open the incognito window and i'll paste it hit enter you can see it is uh, shareable okay you can share this to your friends and we can also delete this you can view this you can download this and you can also test the uh, razor pay payment gateway and inside the transaction you can see the transaction history that you made through the razor pay all right this is how we can set up the project on our computer i hope you i hope you can also set up on your computer in case if you are facing any issues while setting up please reach out to me i will try to help you as much as possible thank you i will see you in the next video